Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with 2019 Panini XR Football 15 box. Pick your team two. Brand new release on this Wednesday. Big thanks to everybody who got into the action right here. Thanks to Jack for grabbing Last Bob Mojo Dolphins. And to whoever is watching, thanks for, uh, you for staying late with us. If you want to do more football, we've got more XR football, which we can fill tonight, but it'll have to break tomorrow. We've run out of time for another one. Uh, another brand new football release, 2019 Panini Flawless Collegiate Football, So, which is you know flawless, beautiful product. We've got only eight teams left on that, eight single digits. So we can definitely do some of that as well if you want to, to close out the night. That's a very quick break. Otherwise, we can we can reconvene tomorrow and just keep rocking and rolling through all of this. I'm sure we'll have plenty of XR and flawless collegiate to do all week long, and the baseball releases too. All right, we got Andrew Luck on the. I said this in the last break. I'll say it again. I can just imagine Panini, their team, designing the box all nice. You know, they're like, oh yeah, we got we got Andrew Luck on the cover. That's pretty good. Comeback player of the year last year. He's poised to have a good season. Let's put this into production. It's being printed out. All that sort of stuff. You know. By the I wonder what the process was. By the time he retired, I'm sure this product was pretty much like Oh, well, at least the box was, was probably pretty much done. <laughs> And then he retires. All right, I'm going to have this little blank card right here to help me out. I'm going to slide out all the regular size cards first. So we'll breeze through these. And we'll set these aside. 7 out of 10 Garoppolo and the David Montgomery. We'll have our we'll have our shipping team sleeve and top load those before they go out. There's Tony Pollard luminous endorsements to 49. That is for SKS and the Cowboys. Just in the interest of time, we'll have our shipping team top load these two before they're sent out and sorted and all that. Maximal material, two out of 49. That is Christian Kirk for Chris Hansen and the Cardinals. Got Miles Sanders, exponential potential to 149. And we've got Pollard and Russell Wilson. And we got Patch Auto, Daryl Henderson, four out of 49. That's for the Rams, Jeff Mason with the Ramley. He's got some, got some upside. I don't think they're using him too often right now. But definitely a guy for the future. They like him a lot. Box two. Kenley Jansen blow another save? Come on, Kenley Jansen. Doesn't feel good going into the playoffs. Dak Prescott to 249. Taylor Rapp to 199. Oh, there's my boy Cleland Farrell, 26 out of 49. That'll be for the Raiders. Bradley Fulmer, uh, Fulmer with my Raiders. There you go, Brad. Steve Olson saying, I don't get uh, how people sign some cards, but some of their autos are redemptions because they didn't sign all of them. 
There's Maximal Relic, Marlon Mack. 63 out of 99 for the Colts, Derek Braden. Return of the Mack. Nick Foles to 199. Tyree Jackson to 99. Speaking of redemptions, sometimes they just don't get around to it. Oh, poor Jonathan Abram. Done for the season. And the redemption is going to be... Rookie Swatch Autographs, card 28. D? Deontay? Deontay Johnson? Uh, Steelers, right? Am I blanking? I'm, I'm almost certain that it's Steelers. Let me just double check before I write on the redemption. Yeah, Steelers. That goes to Michael Colucci and his Steelers. Double as a box for like T Mobile. Trevion Williams to 199 and then Mark Ingram to 99. We got Ryan Finley, 49 out of 99. <laughs> 11 cards saying, what, Deontay Johnson at 0-2? You think he has time to sign? No, he's probably working even harder. That goes to the Bengals, Serenity with the Bengals. And we got the Jaguars relic, D.D. Westbrook to 49. Who does everyone have for this uh, game tomorrow featuring the Jaguars? The 1-1 one one Titans visit short week. They're on the road to Jacksonville visiting the 0-2 Jaguars, which have been facing a bit of adversity. Jalen Ramsey doesn't want to be there anymore. Nick Foles injured. They got the Minshew. There's Justice Hill. Chris Jones. And we've got Andy Isabella, 7 out of 75. Wow, Minshew for the win, Jags by 30. What's the line on this? Sean, <coughs> Sean says Titans. He's taking the spread on the Titans. They must be like plus 2.5, plus 3. Oh, Titans are minus 1.5? Cody's kidding. But he does love Minshew. I, I usually default to the team that plays, that hosts on Thursday night, right? But maybe those short weeks aren't as big of a big of a factor this early in the season. But the Minshew effect is interesting. It'd be hashtag good for the hobby if he does well. Juan Thornhill for the Chiefs to 199. That'll be for... Chris Hansen in Kansas City. 
David Montgomery, Dalvin Cook. And we've got 14 out of 149. That's uh, TJ Hawkinson. Had a good week one. Ryan C. with the Lions. Hunter Renfro to 149. Taylor Rapp and Dalvin Cook. Coming into focus at 199. And then we've got Andy Isabella, triple relic and autograph this time. 29 out of 199. That is for Chris Hansen. A lot of Andy Isabellas, but we need his teammate, the guy that throws him the ball. All right. Hmm. I do like the Minshew. But I don't like the, the, the Jalen Ramsey tumultuousness. How hard is he going to play if he's looking for a trade? He wants to stay healthy, right? Oh, I like that random knowledge, Cody West. Cody's saying, Andy Savelle is a Cleveland kid. Outran Denzel Ward in the 200 meter in track in high school. Hmm. There's Nikhil Harry and Carson Wentz. And luminous endorsements, J.J. Arcega Whiteside, 48 out of 99. No Deshaun Jackson for a couple weeks. Maybe J.J. Arcega Whiteside, hashtag good for the hobby. If he plays well. Trey Bush with the Eagles. And we've got Ryan Finley to 149. Serenity with the Bengals. Extreme Rookies, Debo Samuel. Could be an interesting pickup, fantasy-wise. Travion Williams, 249. Carson Wentz to 199. 25 out of 25. There he is again, J.J. Arcego Whiteside. Now, now Trey's thinking, I, I do want J.J. Arcego Whiteside to do well this week against whoever they're playing. You know? Hosting the Lions. A couple touchdowns, 100 yards for J.J. Arcega Whiteside in the absence of Deshaun Jackson. That'd be hashtag good for the hobby. Jack is saying the Minshew effect sounds like a new sci fi series on Netflix. Coming soon on Netflix The Minshew Effect. You like all these wild trailers? What's going on? It's the Minshew effect. We gotta get out of here. Come on, guys. In a sleepy town in Maine. You thought it was scary. You haven't seen the Minshew effect. What are you doing? You gotta get out of here. Drew Locke to 199 and to 249 Mike Evans. And we've got two cards. We've got Preston Williams to 49. Dolphin sets for Jack on the board. 49 out of 49 team trios, triple relic. Mike Evans, James Winston, Ronald Jones, second Buccaneers, Daniel Rainwater. Jeffrey Simmons to 99 and Leighton Vanderish to 199. I did see that uh, Minshew stretching pregame in only a drop. So it's pretty funny. He seems, seems like a pretty funny dude. Like, there's extreme rookies doing Haskins to 149. I'd like to see him succeed. Jersey and autograph, Nick Bosa, 25 out of 99. Seems like Minshew definitely, Gardner Minshew definitely has a, has a pretty fun personality. And he's having fun with it, you know? 
ha having fun with the uh, with the football. He knows who he is. You know, he's not like a first round draft pick. He knows exactly where he stands. So you might as well have fun with it. You know, and if you have fun with it, if you have fun with it, guess what? You know, you may end up being being a solid backup quarterback for like the next 15 years of your life. It's not bad. Catching an NFL paycheck, you know, staying, staying in like show hotels, you know, and just hanging out. Maybe every once in a while you play, you play an NFL game. I wouldn't mind that at all. All right, there's Cleveland Farrell for my Raiders and then Earl Thomas. I saw that yesterday. There's Taylor Rapp for the Rams to 49. Uh, Mike Leach's rant about the mascot in the Pac-12, like, <laughs> could a Sun Devil beat the... And there's my boy Hunter Renfro. Triple Relic to 75. Raiders, Bradley Fulmer. Got Devin Singletary to 149. We got Travis Homer and Antonio Brown to 249. Then we got DK Metcalf, Jersey and Auto, 73 out of 99. Tony Covert. And uh, Todd, Josh, and Steve Olsen, I think, are saying that that flawless collegiate is moving along nicely. Looks like that's how people want to end the night. I'm okay with that. Yeah, five left. Bengals, Dolphins, Vikings, Saints, and Buccaneers. You know, we got about another 20 minutes left in this break, and we can just jump right into that. And make it happen. That'd be a good way to end the night. Pretty easy break for me too. So, if that fills uh, by the end of this, then we'll uh, everything else, including personals, will be pushed to tomorrow. So, FYI for those of you listening right now. Yeah, Pete Carroll is. I didn't think DK Metcalf would have would be so involved this early in the season, but. You know, because there was like, oh, well, the route running is an issue. There's Josh Jacobs. Kenya Drake. Hands might be an issue. There's Tyree Jackson for the Buffalo Bills to 199. That's for Jeff Mason. You know, but I guess, I guess, you know, from what little I've seen, out of 149, there's uh, David Montgomery. From what little I've seen, it seems like he's able to handle the sort of, when a play breaks down, he could improvise along with Russell Wilson, and then and then it's just a big target for Russell Wilson to throw to, just when it's just a normal play, design plays, you know, like that's just what it seems like to me. There's Jay Sternberg and Roquan Smith, and so yeah, I mean the coaches are getting the best out of his offensive potential. Boom, Josh Jacobs, Jersey and Auto, seven out of thirty, nice low number. For Bradley and my Raiders. That NFC West, I guess this early in the season, it's still very early in the season, but the NFC West looks interesting. Rams are 2-0. and Niners are 2-0. and Seahawks are 2-0. and Cardinals are 0-1-1, but they actually have not looked too bad. You know, there's going to be a few games here and there where... Where like fourth quarter Kyler Murray is just gonna surprise a team, and then engineer some some uh, 
you know, engineer some sort of fourth quarter comeback because defenses will fall asleep thinking they've got a good lead. There's Rodney Anderson to 199. That goes to Serenity and the Bengals. Tony Pollard, Josh Rosen. Poor, poor Josh Rosen. There's Paris Campbell, triple relic, to 99. I feel like Josh Rosen gets dumped by the Cardinals, sent to the Dolphins, and then is just in a complete S show right now. All right, there's Daryl Henderson. Nick Bosa and Aaron Donald. Man, those are two, two tough guys to face in the NFC West. That big, big paw of his, I think it was that hand right there. And Drew Brees got caught, his thumb got caught in there. And there you go, out six to eight weeks. And we got Ryan Finley, rookie triple swatches for the Bengals. Serenity with the Bengals. Down to four now? All right, it's, it's, it's definitely happening. Okay, so here's the schedule, folks. We're going to finish this break. We're going to do flawless, the one briefcase break from a fresh case. So a half case break, I guess. We'll do flawless collegiate football, and then we'll call it a night. Easy. Easy. And then we'll reconvene again tomorrow, 2 o'clock Pacific, 6 o'clock Eastern, and we'll do this madness all over again. We'll talk football, talk talk sports, do all that sort of stuff, listen to some good music in between breaks. And that's that's the thing that we do here. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. Cortland Sutton. Thirteen out of twenty five. Matt McCray and the Denver Broncos, little Oppo Joe Mojo. And we got David Montgomery. Big XL relic there. Bears, Steve Maver. Getting all those Bears hits from before, too. Jalen Hurd, Brian Dawkins, Dylan Mitchell. I don't know what to think about James Winston. I feel like one week, especially if you're trying to pick games, I feel like one week he's just going to screw you. He's going to do something stupid, throw, throw like a, a pick 14 like he did in week one, and then then all of a sudden he's going to beat, beat the Buccaneers on the road on a short week. All right, there's TJ Hawkinson to 149, jersey and autograph. Lions, that's for Ryan. Ryan with the Lions. Robert Garena, what's going on? Oh, thank you. Think great work, big fan. Appreciate you watching. And what, Jameis just stinks? Yeah, but... One week he does like it's almost hard to 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 pick the Buccaneers and figure out when they're gonna win. They're gonna they're the, they're that team. They're gonna lose games that they should win, and they're gonna win games that they should like. So I feel like that's what they're gonna do. Wow! Did the Rays just beat the dot? No, they're not. Well, they're beating the Dodgers. Come on. It makes me uncomfortable going to the playoffs. Cam Newton stinks worse. Cam Newton's injured, Cody West. You can't blame a man for being injured, coming off of major shoulder surgery and foot injury. I mean, you could say his body's falling apart. I guess you could say that. Maybe his body, his genetics stink. I don't know, but I don't know if we've, we've seen a healthy Cam Newton since like 2016, 2015. So I don't know how to evaluate Cam Newton. If it's injured Cam Newton, that's not going to work in the NFL. It's a pretty thick card. Low number maybe? Ooh. Wow, what a time to hit this. A one of one triple relic Daniel Jones autograph. New York football giants, Brad Bennett. Wow. 
Ju- what just this morning he gets the he gets the nod. Eli benched, or maybe yesterday. Eli benched. Daniel Jones getting his first start in Tampa Bay, I think. Wow. Is is Bennett even awake? Where does Bennett live? He's in minutes. He should be awake. I don't know. Well, there you go, Brad. As everyone knows, out of fives and under, get the train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. What, what perfect timing. And you'll probably get the What day is today? Wednesday? You'll probably get this in the mail kind of mid next week, late next week. And hopefully, hopefully he'll have a W under his belt. That'd be cool. Daniel Jones' success would be hashtag good for the hobby. There's a acclaimed autographs. Nice. Shaquem Griffin. 20 out of 25. Tony Covert with the Seahawks. Triple Relic, Easton Stick to 99 for the Chargers. Sean Corbett. All right, four boxes to go. Robert G saying, I'm a Giants fan. It's a sweet card. I'm glad he's working out. Remember when he was drafted... Got the next little slip of paper there. Remember when he was drafted? You know, people were were not not thrilled with that pick. But but he looked good in the preseason. You know, and has and is now getting a start. So we'll see we'll see what happens. Out of 25, Joe Namath. There's Dexter Lawrence and Leonard Fournette. And there's Triple Relic and Autograph, Daryl Henderson out of 199. And there's a Harrison Smith autograph, 9 out of 10. Vikings, that'll be for Tim Thorsett. Didn't realize I had an autograph. Sorry, Tim. And another out of 10, 6 out of 10, two-color patch. Austin, you got, you got a Haley Deegan autograph out of a break 30 minutes ago. We don't have any NASCAR on jazbeescasebreaks.com at the moment. How, how would you, how were you able to do that? Gilded Greats. We've got Titus Howard and Russell Wilson. And more Andy Isabella to 199.
Wait, there are other people that do this? Duran? Chris Hansen. Now, we're the only people that do this. Are there people that do this? Online? On a live stream? There's acclaimed autographs. Adrian Peterson. Nice. Five out of ten. Vikings. That is for Tim Thorsett. Pretty nice. And my boy Hunter Renfro. One out of twenty-five. Let's go, Redfro. Bradley Fulmer with the Hunter. The Hunter of Renfros. What do you do? I hunt Renfros. Um, well, let's just say this, Ost Duran. Haley Deegan is a woman in a male-dominated industry, motorsports. So I think she actually sells pretty well on the secondary market. I don't know exact dollar amount, but I know she'll sell pretty well. I like Danica Patrick, and I think there's the Force, LaForce family that has some daughters in like NHRA stuff. All right, two boxes to go. Almost there. All right, Le'Veon. Um, I do remember we talked about OBJ would sign any. We talked about if OBJ would sign any in Cleveland Uni. Um, that, I don't know if he if he's gonna have any autographs in a Cleveland uniform. We don't see a lot of Odell Beckham Jr. autographs. Since he was a rookie, right, in any product in general, that's a choice of the uh, of the player. It's out of ninety nine. Easton Stick, there you go. Jersey and autograph for Sean Corbett could be the future behind Philip Rivers. Um. So yeah. Uh, I mean, that's up to Odell Beckham Jr. if he wants to to continue signing or not. He might, now that he's in a new uniform, he might be convinced to start signing more consistently in products. There's Josh Allen to 9 out of 15. QB Josh Allen going to Jeff Mason. Buffalo! Woo! Look at that. Sony Michelle laundry tag. One of one. And that will be for Chris Hansen and the Patriots. The Pat Riots. Nice. This stuff is pretty strong, folks. I think at a relatively affordable price point, too. There you have it. Chris Hansen with the Pat Riots. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! And. The last box. This is Pick Your Team 2. I know today was much uh, a much bigger baseball day today, but I, I have a feeling we're going to do a lot of football tomorrow, so gear up for that, folks. Buy your teams now before they're gone tomorrow. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. Uh, that hit is for Chris Han Yes, Chris Hansen. Yes, when he's not catching predators, like, like Philippe Vasquez. Yes, like if he's not when he's not catching predators, he is catching big hits in our group breaks on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Kirk Cousins, look at all these vet autographs that we're getting out of here, especially for the Vikings. You got that Adrian Peterson autograph, which is wild. And now you got Kirk Cousins. You like that? Four out of 15. Nice break, Vikings. Tim Thorsett. And we've got a triple team trios right here. 12 out of 99, Michael Thomas, Drew Brees, and Alvin Kamara. All right, Trey, but yeah, go ahead. Take a seat. That's all for the Saints. Matt McCray. 
Well, now I'm glad that the Dodgers didn't like trade Dustin May or Gavin Lux for Felipe Vasquez. A lot of fans were calling for calling for him to have back end of the rotation duties, but or uh, bullpen duties. But seems like he's a creepo. All right, and to close it out for Trey Bush, Bryce Love, two out of twenty-five. Not the Dwayne Haskins you were looking for, but I think both your teams got something. So there you go, Trey. And thanks, everybody. Really nice break. Another solid XR break in the books. That was Pick Your Team 2. We'll see everybody next time on jazbeescasebreaks.com for the next one. Bye-bye.